In this video, we'll discuss administrative controls. Administrative security controls are defined by organizational policies and procedures, which could be influenced by laws and regulations or business contracts. They include things like how to deal with personnel in a secure manner, which would include things like secure background checks and so on, as well as the adherence to business practice ongoing monitoring and improvement. Administrative controls have a number of categories such as preventative controls. These types of controls minimize damage by preventing negative incidents or attempting to prevent them in the first place. It would include things like man traps controlling access to a physical facility where the outer door must close before an inner door opens and this will prevent people from tailgating or piggybacking coming in behind you without knowing. Door locks are considered preventative administrative controls, as is the separation of duties. Now, separation of duties ensures that we don't have one person that, that can control an entire business process from beginning to end. We have multiple people involved. However, if those people have colluded together to commit fraud, for example, separation of duties can't prevent that. Hiring and background checks are definitely preventive administrative controls related to personnel, as is disaster recovery planning and business continuity planning to ensure that we can get systems and business processes back up and running as quickly and efficiently as possible in the event of a negative incident. Detective administrative controls are used to discover negative events that have occurred after they've occurred. Things like intrusion detection systems, or IDSs, which can detect anomalies and report on them, but don't stop them. That's where intrusion prevention systems would come in. Rotation of duties within an organization is considered a detective administrative control because when a new employee fills a position, they might notice a discrepancy or an anomaly from the previous person that held that role. Same thing is true with mandatory vacations. Security audits are sometimes required in order for organizations to comply with what is required for certain types of businesses. But at the same time, security audits can also be used to identify suspicious activity after it's already occurred. And we can learn from that to harden our environment. Corrective administrative controls allow us to get things up and running. So for example, restoring a business process to its original functional state maybe after a server that supports that process crashes. Data backups are corrective administrative controls that we can use to restore data in the event of a problem. Intrusion prevention systems can also not only detect and report on anomalies, but take steps to prevent them from continuing. So therefore, they're considered corrective and not just detective administrative controls. The execution of a disaster recovery plan is also considered a corrective administrative control related action. In this video, we talked about administrative controls.